what is up everyone? How is everyone doing? And welcome to my very first beer review where I will be reviewing these two beers head to head to see which one's better, which one is worth your time, and overall, which is the better bang for your buck. So without further ado, let's get on with the show. So, depending on where you are in the United States or possibly where you are in the world, you aren't going to be able to find these two beers, Bush Light and Irregular Bush, or Bush Heavy as it were. So, I do have a preference. I will keep that for the end. And I think we should just get on with tasting them. But before we begin, I do want to say that for a 30 pack, that's how they come. It's around 25 bucks. A few years ago, it used to be 21, but you know, what can you do? So let's start off with the lighter one, Bush. And I will grab a glass. And now I will pour the Bush. Right off street, we can see they look they're nearly identical. Maybe you could see a difference. I would have assumed this one would be a bit darker, but they're pretty much the same. So let's give Bush Light a taste. If you're familiar with a beer or maybe you're not, the best way I can describe this one is it has little to no flavor. And I sincerely mean that. I really can't taste anything just besides a slight taste of beer. And in a way, this is why I like this product is because there are no offensive flavors. It just tastes very light and practically like you're drinking nothing. I'll go for a second sip. So, it tastes a little, like a very, very slight taste of banana, which I know maybe it sounds worse, but trust me, it's, it's not bad at all. But let's try Bush Heavy. All right, so I can definitely taste the difference in these two, where this one pretty much is stripped of flavor. This one has a very slight, and I mean a very slight, rice taste to it. Which I know if you're comparing a rice to a banana, it's a little strange. But this one is probably the closest you can get to like describing just a very, very light beer. Where this one tastes pretty much like this, but maybe five to 10% more flavor. But when I say it's good flavor, Let's give it another sip. You know, if it was a hot day and you told me this was bush light, I would probably believe you. But would I believe you if you said this was regular bush? Let me give this another taste. So I said I was going to tell you my favorite beer or see which one I prefer at the end. And I much prefer Bush Light compared to this because after my third sip of this, it's just that like that neutral taste that I really enjoy. I can definitely see after five, six of these starting to get heavy, where if you're familiar with Bush Light, people take these down like it's no one's business. So really, I would say this is the better beer Sure, the bush, regular bush, has more flavor, but is that necessarily a good thing when it comes to these light beers? I, I don't think so. Do they taste cheap? I mean, yes and no. And what I mean by that is, sure, you can drink a really cheap beer, like Keystone, I think it's called, for example, where it's literally stripped of all flavor where these 
I can taste something. It just, there's no offensive flavors where some cheap beers stripped of all flavor, where these at least have a slight beer taste going for them. I'm gonna give this another taste. Yep, it, it, it definitely has more flavor, but the flavor it does have is just bland, if that makes sense. Where this just is a very light beer, where it's just very drinkable for sure. This one has an extra blandness from the rice, I believe, which is it's all right. But in my opinion, the can means so much. And Bush Light is always changing it up. This is a collector's edition. Maybe I'll hold hold on to this for a good. 50, 60 years might be worth around five dollars. And where the regular bush can, I can't really say they ever change up the design. But you know how like it's almost like drinking Budweiser. If you're drinking it out of a glass, it's just so drinkable. But if you're constantly looking at the the red can or anything subliminally, you're like, this is a heavy beer. But if someone handed you a Budweiser and was like, this is a Bud Light, you might never know the difference. So let's get down to the grand verdict, as it were. I can't be like, oh, this is a 9 out of 10 beer because that is so subjective. But what I will do is just how drinkable it is and just overall if it's worth your time. So for me, this is probably my favorite beer solely on the fact that it tastes like a very neutral beer. And there's nothing wrong with it, but where can it improve? I, I don't want it to taste like much more. I like the way it tastes. I like how it doesn't have any offensive flavors. So that really has it going for it. Where this one, I really don't need that rice taste. Yep. Where this has blandness this replaces that blandness with a 50 50 mix of bland and rice i'm not saying it's bad at all if you are like well i like budweiser and i'm trying to get into bud light is this a you know one-to-one -one ratio it's close i wouldn't say necessarily one-to-one -one, but if you like budweiser and you're trying to go down a notch, I just think you're better off just getting this. I will put the percentages here. <laughs> and really overall, so if I, I'm gonna rate these, this is a solid, this is my go-to beer. How can I rate my favorite beer any less than even a nine? I can't see, I can't give it a nine in all honesty because I don't think it's a 9 out of 10 beer. Do I think it's an 8 beer? Maybe. But if we go on the spectrum of cheap beers, this is to, this is like right at the top. I am going to give this an 8 out of 10. I'm not saying this is packed full of flavor, but comparing it to regular cheap beers, like the one that Anheuser-Busch makes, this is a solid 8 for sure. And I will say this is going to get a six. A six five. This is definitely worth a six five. So here are the scores here. It's a cheap beer with, with the popularity of this brand. The price has gone up or inflation or whatever you want to chalk it up to. Would I recommend these beers? I certainly would. If you are a Bud Light drinker, you are going to love this. If you are a Budweiser drinker, I still think you'll prefer this beer. And it looks like Bush Light wins this round. But for drinkability, as in I'm gonna chug these beers right now, you might be like, wait, you just, you drank more of the Bush Heavy. Does that mean it's better? And no, I think what it really shows is I had to drink it just to be like, what is in this beer? Where this one, what you're getting is almost no flavor. Less flavor than 
Bud Light, arguably. But in a way, that's kind of why I like it because it just, if there was ever a standard beer with almost no flavor, but just enough to be drinkable and it's just so refreshing, not heavy, this is it. This is the beer you're going to want to go to. But now I'm going to drink the rest of these right now for you. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Seriously, I really appreciate it. There will be more videos like this to come. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, peace.